comparative study of rates of transpiration in upper and lower surface of the leaf. Requirements for performing this experiment we would require four leaves, stands, string and grease. Procedure Pluck from a plant four fresh leaves of the same size and tie them separately to a string. Tie this string holding the leaves to stand as shown. Smear three leaves with grease in the following manner. On the first leaf, apply grease on both the surfaces. On second leaf, apply grease only to the lower surface. On the third leaf, apply grease only on the upper surface. Leave the fourth leaf as it is without applying any grease on any of its surfaces. Leave the experimental setup without disturbing for 24 hours. Observe the leaves next day after a period of 24 hours so. Observations The first leaf remains fresh because transpiration could neither take place from its lower surface nor from its upper surface as grease was applied on both its surfaces. The second leaf shows little wilting because here transpiration could take place only from the upper surface of the leaf. The third leaf shows more wilting than the second leaf. There was grease coating on its upper surface. Transpiration occurs to greater extent from the lower surface of the leaf because there are more stomata in number as compared to the stomata present on the upper surface of the leaf. The fourth leaf shows complete wilting because here transpiration could take place from both of the surfaces from both of the surfaces of the leaf. Conclusion: The rate of transpiration is more from the lower surface of the leaf than from the upper surface of the leaf.